What's up, it's Brian West, and we're in Niagara Falls. Why? Because it's Comic-Con! Hey, what's going on over here? Um, nothing much. Oh, who, who, who are you? Um, Momo from Kegaro. Momo. I was off. I almost wore my tight red leather pants. Oh, why are you so serious? <laughs> Issues with my father. Who down with VIP? Yeah, you know me. What do people ask you? Um, am I hot? What? No, no, you don't get to go. What took you so long? Why did it take you two hours to get into the door? Don't even. Hey guys, what's up? Ernie, what's up? We're from Y108, local radio station here. Right, good, good, good. Nice to see you. Good. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, I just like to work. So, um, but I, I kind of, I can't do an interview right now uh, just because I'm sort of in the middle of... Well, we have time. these VIP passes that no, apparently no. let us come in. Yeah, is no, that cool? Good. Can you just tell us the, uh, uh, what the latest is on Ghostbusters 3? That sounds like I'm doing an interview. Uh, so you have to come back. <laughs> it's like, He's it's, good. It's, it's not happening. When I see He's the money, it'll be happening. He's good. Not happening. When I see He's the money, good. It'll be happening. One thing you gotta love about Comic Con is they always have something for the dads, like Barbie Blank. Hello. Behind me is a guy named Phil Ortiz. He's an animator on The Simpsons. He's been working as an animator for 30 years, and here he's actually drawing people who have waited in line as Simpsons characters. How cool is that? Have you been doing The Simpsons the, the whole time? Uh. Here I am with Barbie Blank. Hello. Hi. Uh, nice to see you. You too. I must say. Uh, how many dads have come by so far today? Um, I think it's been more teenagers than dads. Really? Yeah. Teenagers are like, oh my god. Is that a homemade costume? Yes. I was told to sit down by the coach. Yeah. Uh, I've bumped into you a few times. You keep wanting to do an interview. What do you want to say? There's uh, Superman, Dean Cain right there from Ripley's Believe It or Not as well. He knows Hamilton. He wants to see the Tie Cats play. But we can't talk to him. His agent said no unless we pay money, money. Sub Zero and Spider Man together? Get At out last. of here! I, I didn't know you guys all knew each other. I had about 500 to 5,000 kids holding onto my belt and they were saying, ooh. Spider Man, I think you gotta hit the gym, man. The gym, I don't know. Who's the hardest character to draw? Uh. uh I'm here with our very favorite villain from the 80s, Beastly. I wasn't really a villain. I was forced into it. Mr. Strickland, didn't that guy ever have hair? And all the people noticed that the Monster Man did pass on not too while ago, of all you guys know that. Uh, hey, did you need, uh, was there a translator on set for Sylvester Stallone so you understood what he was saying? <laughs> no, no. He's quite articulate. Really? Very. It didn't come across in the movies. I'm really a good guy at heart. <laughs> I saw a fact that said Will Smith is now older than James Avery was when Fresh Prince started. Is someone that true? Just, well, someone just told I heard that too. If you grew up in the 80s, you knew that Polka Dot Door was on at 6 and today's special was on at 6.30. The department store and Sam the security guard. Hello, sir. Hello, indeed. <laughs> Look, it's Bud Bundy, for God's sakes. What up, what up? Did you meet Hillary from the Fresh Prince? No, I didn't. Who's Hillary from Fresh Prince? Oh my god, what happened? The zombie bit me. Did you design any of the characters yourself? Yes, oh yes. Bel Air, the old Yeah! Oh, that Hillary! She oh. was the hot one. Nice, nice. Did you get her number? <laughs> uh, she wouldn't give me her number, uh, man. Nah. So I designed uh, Apu. Uh, Can you spell his last name? A P, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Will there ever be a Back to the Future 4? No. Never? No. Nahipa, Nahipa, Sendra. What's your favorite? Two. Mine too. Is it a coincidence that you're next to Barbie? Uh, she wanted to be next to me, um, so she had talked to the promoters and she was made sure she was sat next to me. You gotta, you gotta make sure that the kids, when they want to hold onto the belt as well, they get an opportunity of holding onto it. Well, I won't hold you from talking to more children. <laughs> Don't let the kids near them.